Gus isn't expecting any rate cuts before the end of the year. Joining us is former Minneapolis Fed President Nariana Kocher Lakota, now professor of finance at the University of Rochester's Business School. Even after the CPI report this morning? Uh, yeah, no, thanks a lot for having me on. I you know, one of the main rules you, you have in monetary policy is don't pay much attention to one data point. And, uh, you know, obviously good news today, but um, it's not going to shape um, the Fed's outlook and forecast or, or actions today in a material way. Uh, not, you know, maybe, I think the Fed is... Uh, maybe not order. actions, but is, hasn't it been a series? I mean, April was better than expected on CPI, not as good as today's number. And a lot of them has, have dismissed the the Q1 flare-up of inflation and sort of want to buy this disinflationary theme. We've got two conflicting data points. We have the end of 23, the second half of 23, which looked great. And it looked like the Fed was going to be able to bring it off the, uh, the soft landing. The first half of 24, especially in the, in, the, in the core PCE space, which is really what I think matters the most from the point of view of the Fed, uh, just does not look as, as promising. We've seen um, uh, core PC inflation in the last six months or the last three months uh, in excess of three. So we're not seeing yet seeing that kind of uh, the good news in the core PCE inflation rate that, that I think the Fed needs to see in order to be comfortable uh, beginning uh, rate, rate, high, uh, rate cuts. What, what do you think they need to see? Down to below 3%? I think it's, you're going to have to start to see something that looks more like the second half of 23, where you can make a case that, hey, we're on the downward path of inflation, the glide path, back down to two. You just can't do that uh, looking at the last six months of data in, the, in, in core PC inflation. And I, that, I think, is the Fed's biggest concern is that they start cutting rates and then have to make a U-turn. That would be disastrous. And so they're going to be pretty patient about waiting to make sure. Uh, it's not about any particular number, I don't think, as much as seeing, starting to see that glide path restored. A lot of people, though, do think that they, that they have seen enough evidence that it's coming down, especially when you take out some stubborn factors like owner's equivalent rent that, you know, it's, it's hard for the Fed to control, just given some of the funky dynamics in the housing market. And a, and a big concern now would be preserving the the economic recovery and not having a hard landing in the jobs report. And it does feel like that risk has come into better balance. So I, I was say a couple of things in response to that, Sarah. You know, these are both good points. I, I think the, the, the inflation uh, factor remains the critical one for the Fed. To bring inflation back down um, to target uh, is really the main thing on their on, uh, objective that they have in mind. With that said, um, I think we are seeing um, some signs of softness in in the labor market. Um, you know, I think the household survey, the, you know, the establishment survey remains very strong, but the household survey is definitely showing some signs of incipient weakness. And that, you know, it could make life very difficult for the Fed, I think, in the second half of, of 24. Um, you know, you could see inflation remaining stuck, uh, not seeing that glide path back down to 2 percent and at the same time start to see uh, unemployment push upwards. You know, that's, uh, you know, that's what we teach in class is the, these uh, standard central banking dilemma. And I, I think we could well see that in the second half of, mm. of 24. So do you think the ECB made a mistake going too soon? Well, you know, their circumstances are obviously different from here in the U.S., but, um, you know, it, I, I, just because the ECB has moved does not mean the Fed should move. That, that would be my own takeaway. And I, I wouldn't be sitting if here in uh, if I was going to the meeting uh, this, uh, today, uh, I wouldn't be saying, oh, we should be moving because the ECB did. I, I'd be looking at the data here in the U.S. And, and saying, look, inflation is not yet on that glide path back to 2 percent that we're looking for.